Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Life Beams Treasures and Curiosity, and this is an unboxing part two. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I made a 20 minute long video unboxing two very special boxes that I got last night. I was so excited. One of them was for my mother, an unexpected surprise that she sent me. And the other one was from the Disney auction of Paul Antonelli. And I can't believe I got that stuff so quickly. It was mailed fast. So the problem is I did the video. I put the boxes here, facing the camera, opened them up. And not only did all of Paul's information throughout the entire video was shown on to the world around, but also my mother's because I put the label facing the camera. What is wrong with me? Now I know I could have gone back with some editing and do the whole fuzzy fuzzy or do something. You know something I tried? I cannot do editing at all. That is why these videos are so amateur and I'm just on here talking because I cannot edit. And I think once I figure out how to get that whole cable thing going, I know I'm throwing things, that whole cable thing going, I think the rest of my shows will be live because I so much prefer a live aspect where I get to talk to people, interact, answer questions, and do all that. But until then, you're stuck with me talking to myself. But I love doing this. So let's get right to it. I am going to redo that video yesterday. It's not going to have the same emotions, not going to have the same feelings, but at least I want to show off what I got at this incredible Disney auction, because I think I did really, really well. And not only that, I think I'm going to flip this stuff at amazing prices. So the first thing I got to show this because I already sold it, <laughs> put it up last night. I sold it. Check this baby out. It is a Vinamates Godzilla 1962 vinyl figurine by Diamond Select Toys. Nice little Godzilla figurine. I mean, geez, if my ex was here, he'd love this thing. But you know something? Guess what? I sold this. So I want to say, I didn't sell it for much because when I first did the comps during the auction, I thought they were going for a lot higher than they were. But then I realized they weren't. So I actually sold this on Macari for $20. But I believe I ended up paying... I want to say I paid 12 for it. I don't know. Whatever. But I got this off Macari with shipping. So I still made a couple of dollars off the deal. I know I'm going to make money off of the rest of the stuff. But this one I realized it wasn't as high as I thought. That's okay. The next item. This is actually really, really cool. And I put these up. And I have a feeling this might be a really good sale. But we'll take a look. These are... Test your Mickey memorabilia question and answer cards. They're from 1987. And on the and they're like postcards. The front features Mickey's artwork. The back features a question. But this is all of classic Mickey's um, movies. You got Mickey Pal Pluto, Building a Building, Symphony Hour, The Mad Doctor. Um, what does that say? Oh, Society Dog Show. This one is Mickey's Nightmare. This is a great movie. Uh, Yielding Days. We've got Touchdown Mickey. We have Mickey's Good Deeds. And, of course, the famous Fantasia. So, what I'm doing is, I am doing these as a complete lot. I'm going to lot these up together. I saw somebody, this is um, a collection of 10 of them. There's actually 24 in the series. So this is a little less than half of the series. I saw somebody with the entire collection um, putting it up for like $300. So I know I'm not, I'm not going to get anywhere, and I don't even know how long he's had it up there for. But I bet I could probably get a nice little amount. We'll see. I mean, it's beautiful artwork. People could maybe frame it, put it up. It's a nice little thing. So that was item number two. The next item, I will admit, I do not remember buying. <laughs> I must have bought it because it's in the box. I just don't remember buying it because usually I'm not a DVD person, but I might have gotten it if it was like a ridiculously cheap amount. Um, I've never seen this movie, The A-Team. It's a collection of DVDs. 
never seen the movie A-Team, so at least I'll have something to watch with my husband. This one is The Help. I have no idea what that's at. Pineapple Express, funny stoner movie. Love this one. 40-year-old virgin, and is it a sealed one? Oh, actually, that's really cute. Here, let me just show you something. It's him with the shirt, I think you open up. <laughs> that's really cute. And then um, Swordfish and Little Miss Sunshine. I don't think I've ever seen Swordfish either. And I have no idea what Little Miss Sunshine is about. Oh, and it's also a Steve Carell movie. So maybe I might enjoy that one as well, because I like Steve Carell. But um, I got these movies, and I, I'll probably flip them or whatever. I'll watch a few of them and see what happens. Movies are great because they usually go for a dollar each. So then the next item I got is this uh, Harley Davidson hat. I can't even put it on. That's all right. It's, um, it's a Harley Davidson hat. And I have been really, really lucky with Harley Davidson. This, I would assume, is a female hat, but it is an authentic Harley. Uh, it has the hook and loop. I know you can't use the V word, but um, it's a nice hat. It's in pretty good condition. I'm hoping to maybe make about $20 off of this deal. We'll see. Um, the next thing I got, I'm starting to get involved in toys. So I'm making a collection because I think my secondary store is going to be a specialty store. So what I do is I've been lotting up um, figurines and stuff like that. And they've been going really well. So I bought one of his cheapy figurines. I know I didn't spend much on it. But the key one is this particular one. Is uh, a Spider-Man. Um, I can't talk. Spider-Man Britain. So I got Spider-Man Britain. I've got this cat. I don't know what she is. And of course she got little Rocky. Is that Rocky? I don't know. From um, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy. And then this little guy. And then I've got little guns that go on Rocky. So i got to be careful with these little guns because accessories are always cute. But they easily get lost. So that was a cute little collection on that. Then, oh yeah, there's, there's lots more. You have to remember, I am in cow country right now. So I saw this, and I know that I there's a lot of uh, John Deere collectors in the area. So this is a John Deere collecting spoon rest. I think I paid, I think his starting bid was $2 for it, so I just grabbed it. That's a cute little thing. And then, dun, 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 dun. Look what I've got. Star Wars Galaxy Edge pins. Dun, 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 dun. I got two pins, and what's so cute about it is, look at that. The back is little Mickey Mouse. So these are the two, 2019 limited release pass holder pins. So these, I think, is going to be a good deal. Paul is so good. Lots of bubble wrap. I love the way he wraps this stuff. He wrapped everything so nicely. It fits so professionally in there. It was like, it's great. So I'm just going to like press everything back in the box. Because what do I do is I put everything up for sale and I flip it. That's that's my secret. He helps me. I help him. It works out. And I get some great deals. And now, this one happened to be a Knott's Berry Farm collection. And that's the, um, the amusement park. What I thought was neat about this one is ashtrays. Three collector ashtray plates. Um, you could see the original price tag. It was only 39 cents, but that's not what I paid for them. Of course I paid more, but I thought they were really, really interesting to eat. They all have the same design. So I'll probably do something with like not very farm, um, lot. Then we have, this is beautiful. Little Snoopy pin with Charlie Brown. Knott's Berry Farm thing. And then I forget what you call these things. But one of these things, it's like a little hanging decor, little porcelain. So I thought that was very, very cute. So that is that cute little lot. See, I'm really happy. I mean, this is all like little collector stuff. There was some really nice stuff during that um, Disney thing. And then what's great about Paul is he always gives me something for it. First time he gave me candy. Second time he gave me, oh, my favorite, uh, what do you call them? Cadbury cream eggs. Oh, they were delicious. 
Now, he gave me a free mug. It says, I have mixed drinks about failings. Yep, that's, that's my life. But inside is what I actually bought. And there's some really cute stuff in here. I bought a whole collection of pens. So to show you the pens, because I'm going to become Pin Girl, we have Pinocchio 2000. We have... Now, this was a whole entire lot of pins, and I got this for a great deal. This was the one I had my eye on. Ren from Ren and Stimpy. And then this one, a eh, little Microsoft. This one is a great one. We've got Austin Powers. <gasps> what does it say? It says, do I make you horny? And then we have NFL Game Day 99. This one is probably going to be a good one. It is Bud Light Spud McKenzie. Does everybody remember Spud McKenzie, that little dog? Then we have a little uh, like Cadillac. We have the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We have little Punisher. We've got Dun 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 Spider Man. And we've got some sort of racehorse and that's the first collection of pins so that right there all that was one lot which i'm like awesome be great on that one lot then i got this lot simply for this pin look at that it is the rocketeer one so and this is uh cast iron metal what does it say I can't see what it says. 1993. And then this one I thought was it's the original Coca-Cola Epcot Center. So that's pretty cool. But I wanted it for the Rocketeer pin. I, I saw the comps on that particular pin and I'm like, yes, I'm grabbing it. And then finally, I couldn't resist this because this looks really good. We've got good old little Pluto. But I was more interested in this right here. The Disney coin. Now it's a little loose in package. I'll need to fix that. But that Disney collector coin. And it's from. It's a Main Street uh, Around the World collector's coin. It's from Disneyland. What year? We don't have a year. But I think that this is going to be good. So that was part of my Disneyland collection auction. Tell me. Do you think I did good? Did I do bad? The way I look at it is I know I'm going to be making a couple of bucks off this auction. He made a couple of bucks off this auction. And that's what happens is he makes money. I make money. We all get happy. And I love the fact that it's like uh, resellers helping resellers. I mean, I like that I'm able to make connections with people, that I'm able to enjoy these auctions. I have to curb myself a little bit because I've been spending a little too much money, but that is okay. I'm also been increasing my sales. So it's one of those twofold thing. It's like, if you want to make sales, you got to spend money. But right now, I'll be honest, I have more than enough stuff to sell, to list, to make some money. And that's what's going to happen once I start putting all this stuff up is cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. I have a feeling that this weekend is going to be a good weekend. I mean, already my numbers are starting to increase. My amount of sales are starting to increase. I'm starting to get rid of some of the old inventory. So I'm very, very happy. But that was my collection from Paul's. Oh, as far as my mommy, I have to show her. I can't show you the first item, but I will show you the second item that she got me. I think she said my aunt got me this, and I opened it up. I got to seal it, but that's all right. It is a pillow, but it is a pillow with an M on it for Melanie. Aw, I love mommy. I love my mommy. I love my man. So they got me a pillow. They also got me a surprise, surprise, but that surprise, surprise is for my husband. So he's very happy, and actually, I'm very happy because he keeps him happy. So with that, everyone, I have to pack up this stuff. I have to get ready because I am going to be going off and volunteering today for a very good cause. It is a clothing drive. I hope they get some really good money and I hope that they're able to unload a lot of the clothing because it's been so sad that they haven't been able to give out the stuff to the community as often as they wanted to due to everything being closed. 
So the fact that they're doing this and I got to get my mask on and I got to get like, I guess, gloves and stuff. And I got to be all nice and sanitary as I help and spread out the love. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. This is Melanie with Life Beams, Treasures, and Curiosities. Take care.